Hey there guys, the Real Top Fan here, and welcome to a new um, series on my channel, a Football Manager series, where I'm going to be starting, I believe, as Exeter. I've just had a quick look through all the teams in League 2. I'm going to start in League 2, try and get this team up into the Premier League, up into Europe, hopefully, all being well. And I believe Exeter would be quite a good challenge. They're predicted to finish 12th, exactly mid-table, which is what I wanted. Their estimated value isn't that great. But this is the, one of the things. They have below average training facilities and below average youth facilities. I think it would be quite a challenge. So I'm going to be starting a game as Exeter. Um, and I will be back once the game is loaded up, guys. Right, guys, I've just been through all of the normal meetings that you get when you start start up football manager. Your um, chairman, your assistant manager and all that lot. Um, and my team meeting. So I've just come to have a look at the squad. I'm going to actually, i tell you what I will do, I'll show you the tactics that I always play guys. That way you can see how I work with Football Manager. He will go there, he will go there, they will switch to attack, they will become inside forwards. And he will go on to attack as well, he will go to defend, they will go to automatic. They will go to support and sorted right that's the tactics I usually play guys I've got a few more bits to set up in there but I will deal with that when I get chance I wanted to have a look at this team report now so that you could see the positions that I play where's it gone here we are team report so I play three central midfielders so I'm gonna need I've got I need a, a new central midfielder he's only two and a half star so I need a new central midfielder Matt Oakley is our best player He's actually not bad. He's 35, though. His um, physical stats are going down, as you'd expect at that age. But that's fine. So we've got them. Um, we need a new central midfielder. Centre-backs. We need a new centre-back. Got a good right-back. Got a decent left-back. That's fine. Strikers. Ooh, Sam Parkin. Five stars. So that's good. We've got a good striker. And can he play... Deep lying forward. No. Okay. But that's fine. We will deal with that when we come to it. So, this is the squad we have to play with, guys. I will have a look at some players, and I will be back once I've added them to my shortlist. Right, guys, just to let you know, I've scouted... I'm going to scout the players from the England trial day. You get this all the time with a lower, lower team club, championship or below, I believe, and see if there's anyone comes up that... I might be able to sign. I don't know what I've got free on my wage budget, actually. I haven't even really looked. £500 available we per week. Wow. So I'm going to have to see if I can get rid of some people. But I will deal with that. I'll transfer list some people. I'll offer some players out. I'll add some players to my shortlist. And I will be back. I've just had a quick talk to the board here, guys. Um, and I've managed to encourage... Uh, well, I say managed to encourage them. It wasn't didn't take much encouraging. To find a parent club that we can bring players in on loan without having to worry about paying the wages because I have very little in the way of wages and no transfer budget so that's important so that's one good thing hopefully they'll come back with a good club and I will let you know when they do so just my first friendlies just started here guys it's uh, the one I always do um, my first team against my under 21s my first team won 5-3 at Sam Parkin with four goals and a brilliant result for a first start. I mean, it's only the under-21s, but it's a win nonetheless, and hopefully we can win some more friendlies. So guys, I've just got back all the scout reports from the England trialists match, and there isn't really... I mean, he's got a five-star potential, but he's a three-star current ability, and I'm not sure what his... He'd want an awful lot of wages, and I've already got a good striker up front for this season. It might be at the end of the season I have to look for a striker then, but at the moment... Um, I can't really afford it. I've only got £500 free on my wages. And, yeah, it's not the easiest to to judge. But, at the moment, there's not really anyone here that excites me. I will keep looking, and if I find anyone, I will be back to let you know about it, guys. And our next friendly, guys, we were away at Dorchester Town. Again, should have been an easy win. Was an easy win. We won 3-0. Two goals from Matt Oakley, and one from Sam Parkin. A 3-0 win. I don't play my friendlies, guys, by the way, because I'm always itching to get into the start of the new season. So, a 3-0 win, a good result, and hopefully we can build some confidence before the start of the season. 
Well, guys, the next friendly and a 5-0 hammering by Brentford. Um, they are a league above us, granted. 5-0, probably looking at this was... They had 13 shots, we had four, but we, did have, we slightly edged possession. May have been a bit harsh on us, but we lost 5-0. And, yeah... <laughs> not a good, not the best of results, but equally again, they're a league above us. Hopefully, that won't happen when it comes to playing in the actual league too. And another friendly here, guys. We were away at Chippenham. Should have been an easy win. We won three-one. We got um, David Wheeler scored first. Um, Sam Parkin, oh, hit, hit the bar from a penalty. Ravel Williams Just gave them a thing of hope. Oh, there we are. Lee, Liam Sercombe. Liam Sercombe doubled our lead on the 13 minutes. Then on 71st minute, Ravel Williams pulled one back for Chippenham. And then we scored. Lazarus, Gary Lazarus scored, raising from the dead, <laughs> um, to score a close-range finish in the 81st minute. So a 3-1 win. Good result. And hopefully we can push on in the... And another friendly against a team above us. These are the championship side. And another 5-0 loss. We had four shots, they had 16, they absolutely battered us in possession. Looks like a game we definitely didn't deserve to get anything out of. 5-0 loss, not a great way to go into the season, but I will be back. Either A, when I find some players worth, worth signing, when I hear about our parent club, or for the next match, which is the first game of the season, guys. So I will be back then. Right, guys, we have um, got a return from the, from the board on our parent potential parent clubs we have either man united or cardiff and as much as i hate man united i'm afraid it's gonna have to be man united <laughs> um they'll have better players for me to to potentially sign they'll have um yeah better players to put you know it's it's an all-round good idea i believe hopefully we can get a couple of them players in before the season starts as well let's have a look some players that are potentially available to loan this guy. His current ability is four and a half star. So if I can get him in on loan without any wages to the end of the season and if I can get him in because I need an attacking midfield right then that would be absolutely brilliant. So I will be back when I hear something back about that guys. Right guys, I've just had my both my loan offers accepted by Man United. Um, for the two players that I put in for. I don't know if I, if you saw the second one, actually. Um, that's the... Yeah, this guy. D uh, left back, centre back, right back. can play right across the back. So I've put an offer in for him as well. Both have been accepted, which is great. I've just got to choose my captain. Matt Oakley's going to be my captain. Pat Baldwin going to be the thing. There we are. That's my captaincy sorted for the first game against Bristol Rovers in a few days time so I'll be back when that match is here or when those offers come through whichever comes first right guys that's one of them come through this is my attacking midfield right who can play there that's where I'm going to be playing him in this position just here he can play as an inside forward that's brilliant that's exactly the kind of player I need so I will be confirming that and putting him straight into my team for this first game Right guys, just to show you really quick, this is the team that we'll be playing in our first game. We are at home against Bristol Rovers. We have Kriziak, Moore Taylor, Baldwin, Coles and Butterfield across the back. Sercombe, Bennett and Oakley in midfield. Lawrence makes his first start. Gao on the left and Parkin up front. Hopefully a team worth, well, a team able to win this game, but we shall see how we get on. And I will be back when I'm in the match, guys. And the match is just about to get underway now, guys. And there we have it, guys. We go 1-0 up. Lawrence on the right. Brings the ball in, crosses it. Goes in towards Oakley. Oakley gets hold of it and finishes it past Maidenhall. Or Maidenhall and we're 1-0 ahead. And right on the stroke of half-time, guys, we go 2-0 up. Lawrence with the corner. Oakley get, can't get on it. Neither can Bennett, but it comes out to parking on the edge of the area. Finishes it. Great finish. 2-0 up. Just going into half-time. And we're just getting underway with this second half now, guys. And the 65th minute, Bristol Rovers pull a goal back. Brown coming down the left here. Beats Oakley, puts the cross in. Brunt, easy finish. Puts, his, puts Bristol Rovers back into the game with 65 minutes gone. And Matt Oakley has picked up an injury, unfortunately, guys. I just need to see if I can find the right 
the right player to put in for him. I'm not sure if Tommy Doty might be a good one, or possibly Aaron Dawson. Tom, whoops, what have I done there? There we are. Tom Doty is the guy that's going to come in for him. Hopefully that's not a bad, bad injury. Hopefully it won't keep him out for long. And 76 minute guys, Bristol Rovers equalise Smith to Brown on the right. Brown with a cross from the from the sideline. Finished by Ryan Brunt. 2-2 two, two from 2-0 two, down. This is not good. Well guys, 2 all full time. It's a disappointing result. I expected us to win that from 2-0 up at half time. Unfortunately we've been unable to. It puts us in ninth. I mean, it's, it's ninth. It's the first game of the season. Look at the amount of shots we had compared to them. The amount of possession we had. We should, really should have won that game. We didn't, unfortunately. But we haven't lost. It's the first game of the season. Hopefully, we can use that to push on. Right, guys. We are here with our next match. We are at home against Yeovil. It's Capital One sec um, first round. I don't expect much from this, really, if I'm quite honest. We are against Yeovil. Yeovil are a championship side, albeit probably not for long. Um, there, so I'm not expecting a decent result here, but I'm just going to try and swap swap things around a little bit, bring in some other players, and see where we can go. You never know. We might get something out of it. But I will be back when I'm in the game, guys. And when we started... To, uh, when it's about to start and the match is just getting underway now guys and there we have it 21st minute guys we go 1-0 down it's a corner from the right from Upson Upson whips it across Rawls somehow gets on it I don't know how but somehow beats everybody as well but we're 1-0 down and no sooner did I stop recording there guys than I go 2-0 down and Goo plays a ball into Madden Madden easy finish 2-0 and that's half time guys um, two 0 It's probably gonna gonna be a loss, but it's a cup game. It's the Capital One Cup. I ain't too bothered about it. The biggest thing with the cup really is the possibility of increased funds from um, prize money and things. But equally, I'm really not too too fussy if we go out here. It's the league that I'm bothered about. Promotion may be not realistic this season, but hopefully, if we can get some good results, it, you never know. So. We shall see how we get on, but I'll be back in the second half as and when things happen. And that's the 50th minute. Madden plays the ball to Riley, back to Fisher, back to Riley. Riley scores, puts us 3-0 down, and that's, if it wasn't before, that's game over. And literally about a second after I press stop recording, 58th minute, Yeovil go 4-0 up. Upson scores from about 25 yards by the look of that. That's incredible. What an effort. 4-0. And again, game over. And make that 5-0. That's a goal by Michael Ngu. A long ball from the goalkeeper. Ngu gets hold of it. And bends it around the goalkeeper. That's all you can say about it. It's 5-0. 5-0. 5-0. Terrible. Terrible. I didn't expect to lose this badly. And 6-0. An own goal to cap it all off to make it that little bit worse. Ngu gets the ball by the byline. Puts it across. Goalkeeper doesn't come for it. Sircombe walks into the back of his own net. Well done, guy. And that's full time. It's 6-0. I mean, it's a bad result, but you also have to bear in mind I'm playing my my reserve goalkeeper. He's only 18. Um, my first team goalkeeper, I gave a rest for that game. So, it's a bad result. We've lost. We've lost miserably. But it doesn't matter. Hopefully we can come back from that and come back stronger in the league. So I'll be back when I'm at the next match, or when there's something else to tell you about, guys. Right, guys, this is the squad that is put together to face Mansfield. We are away from home. Second game of the season after a after a bit of a poor result in the first game, really. We were 2-0 up. We, they pulled it back. It was two, pulled it back to 2 all. Hopefully, though, we can get a result here. Um, I might switch these to support, actually. Switch these to support and see if that makes a difference. Right, guys. So this is the squad that's going to be playing. We will... Oh, I haven't changed that either. It's a deep-lying midfielder. There we are. Now, quick break. There we are. That's better. So that's the squad. That's the game that's going to be played. Hopefully, we can get a result. I'll be back when I'm at the match. And the match is just going to get underway now, guys. 
And that's the tenth minute. We go 1-0 up. Sam Parkin with the goal. Gao runs down the left. Manages to beat his defender. Puts a cross in. Parkin on the volley. Puts us 1-0 ahead. Great, great start to the match for us, guys. And after a great start for us, an equaliser in the 13th minute, an own goal by Bennett. Clements with the corner, whips it in, doesn't really go anywhere, doesn't even really get off the ground. My own player just passes it into the back of his own net. Yet another own goal. Not good enough. 39th minute, guys, we managed to pull another goal back. Lawrence down the right-hand side there, skins his defender. Into the box, and he scores. Lawrence with the goal. Second game for on loan from Man United, and we're 2-1 ahead going into half-time. But let's not count our chickens after the last game we had, where we um, were 2-0 up, and they came back to make 2-all. So hopefully, this second half will be better for us. Hopefully we can pick up our first win of the season. So I'll be back in this second half when things happen, guys. And we've picked up yet another injury in the 89th minute, guys. Gao is injured. David Wheeler's going to have to come on, and that's the only... Well, actually, Butterfield could do with coming off. Scott Townsend's going to come on for Butterfield, and they're the two changes I'm going to make here in the 89th minute. And hopefully we can just see out these last few minutes to pick up our first win of the season. And that's it, guys. That's full time. That's the important win we needed. The first three points. Sam Park in man of the match. First win of the season. Where does that put us up into, into the league? I know it's very early doors. We stay ninth, but... We, more importantly, it's a win, it's the first win, and once we get this confidence building, once the familiarity comes with our formation, we should be looking good, hopefully. I'm encouraged so far, guys. Right, guys, very, very similar team to the team that played the last game for this one. Matt Oakley is back, though, from injury, and uh, Davis starts on the left as Gao's injured. So, hopefully, another possible win at home against Wimbledon. Um, a second home game. First one was the one where we were 2-0 up and we c they came back and drew to all. So we've not lost yet this season, which is nice. We've only played two games, mind. But hopefully we can we can record another win here. The next match is away at Morecambe, and that will be our live match for this episode and the last match of the episode. So I will be back when this match is underway, guys. And the match is just about to get underway now. And three minutes in, guys, we go 1-0 up. Oakley with the free kick, hits the wall, passes it to Davis. Somehow the goalkeeper keeps that out, but somehow he scores from that tight angle. We're 1-0 up so early on in the game. And that's half-time there, guys. We are 1-0 up. Um, not much else happened in that first half, really, other than that, that early goal by Aaron Davis. So I will be back with this second half. When, when something happens, if anything happens, hopefully nothing happens, it stays 1-0 and we can pick up another three points. And that's the 74th minute, it's the Wimbledon equaliser. Sweeney on the edge of the area, pulls it across. Pell looks like he almost catches the ball, puts it in the back of the net. One all. Well, that's full time, guys. Another game, another lead, another point. <laughs> we've played three games, we've won one, we've drawn two from winning positions. It's disappointing, but it keeps us unbeaten still in the league we're on five points we are in 11th we expected to finish mid-table that's all I'm asking of my team but if we can finish up here in the even seven or eight even if we finish just outside the playoffs it'd be a brilliant result hopefully we might be able to manage that but we shall see so that's this match over and done with guys I'll be back with my next match against Morecambe we are away from home Morecambe are 12th we are 11th so it's an important early early game. Hopefully, one we can win. So I'll be back when I'm at that match, guys. Just a quick injury report to fill you in on, guys. Danny Butterfield, our right back, will be out for three to four weeks. It's a big blow, but hopefully we've got the players that will step up and take his place and cover for him while he's out. Right, guys, I am here with the team for the game. We are away at Markham. The team is Krizyak, Woodman, Baldwin, Coles and Dawson, Oakley, Serco and Bennett, Gao comes back from injury, Lawrence on the right, Parkin starts up front. That is the team, guys. This is a live match. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can end this episode on a, with a win. And I will be back when I'm at the match. Right, guys, the match is getting underway now. We are off here at Markham for the live match of this episode. Hopefully we can, we can do well. We can pick up three points. Here we are, Gao with the corner. 
whips it across. Coles can't get on it. Sircombe can get it on the edge of the area, plays it back out to Gao. Puts it across Baldwin. Oh, oh, so close. Cleared off the line. Still remains nil-nil. Not much going on, really. A bit of a warning. We're well ahead on possession by the look of this at the bottom here. Um, chances has really been few and far between. We've had the best chance so far this half, but here we go. Woodman heads it back across. Dawson picks it up in midfield. Plays it out to White on the right here. Daw back to Dawson. Into Old Fleming. Back to... Oh, to Smith. No, it goes to Smith. To Dawson. To Fleming. To Drummond. Come on, someone do something with it. Smith. To White. To Fleming. To Drummond. <laughs> to Hens Henschel. And that's 1-0 to Markham. Am Amond. Amond. Oh no, it's disallowed. It was offside. Padraig Amond. 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 Whatever you want to call him. It's disallowed. It still remains 0-0. And why have we got Markham's ratings on there? I will change that when I get a chance. That's a foul on the edge of the area. We have a free kick in quite a promising position here, guys. Parrish, wants, referee wants a word with him. Referee reaches for his pocket and shows him a yellow card. Parrish is booked. We have a free kick right on the edge of the area. Can Gao do anything with this? He can. It's 1-0. It's a great free kick. Um, edge of the area, good free kick, gets on his knees, he celebrates with the crowd, the crowd are loving this, we're 1-0 up, 29th minute, it looked to go very close to the goalkeeper, goalkeeper maybe should have done a bit better, probably couldn't see because it had come through the wall, good free kick, well, well executed, and we're 1-0 ahead, let's see if we can get our ratings on here really quickly, there we are, so 1-0, this is a good result if we can keep this up, if we can manage a win away from home again I would be very very pleased that's half time let's just have a quick look at the overview at the stats they've had four shots none on target we've had 16 shots six on target we've had 71 percent of possession we've been all over them so hopefully we can manage to keep this up in the second half we shall see I need to go what do I need to go pitch there we are here we are we're off for the second half Think so come. There we go. And Gal with the corner here. Puts it across. Parkins coming in. Can't get on it. Who's gonna get it? Gal's gonna pick that back up on the wing there. Walks to the ball, doesn't really run. Gives it to Sircombe. To Baldwin. To Bennett. Come on, look inside. Look at Ball. Lawrence on the wing here. He's been a brilliant signing so far on loan from Man United. Plays it back to Dawson. Dawson inside to Bennett. Bennett to Sircombe. Sircombe to Oakley. To Gao. Come on, Gao. Gives it out to Woodman. Come on. Put it across. Give us a good ball in. Oh, it goes in. Lawrence. Can Lawrence score? He can. And that is 2-0. We go 2-0 ahead. Tom Lawrence's second goal of the season. On loan for Man United. For 48th minute. This is great. We're doing well this season so far, guys. I mean, I know we're only four games in, but we're doing well. Lawrence with the goal, 2-0 up. Hopefully we don't have see a repeat of what happened first game of the season where we were 2-0 up and went to, to a 2 all draw. Gow with the corner, Baldwin with the goal. That's 3-0, and hopefully three points. It's a great goal by Baldwin. Good finish from such a tight angle. Gow causing all sorts of problems with them corners on the wing. Corners on the wing. Them, all them corners from the left, I was meant to say. Baldwin with a good finish. 55 minutes gone. 3-0. Hopefully we can keep this in the bag. And we can pick up another three points to help us toward this goal of promotion. I mean, if we don't get it this season, it's not the end of the world. But if we can, if we can get promoted this season, that would be superb. I know... Um, Pat Baldwin's picked up a knock, but he will he will survive the rest of the game. One minute left to play. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Um, and this shows now that it's probably going to be the last highlight. 15 seconds to play. Amond plays it over the top to nobody. Goes out for a goal kick. And that will be the end of the match.
by the time the ball comes back in. There we are, full time at the Globe Arena. Exeter, uh, Morecambe nil, Exeter 3. Absolutely brilliant result. The players' confidence is building. The tactic familiarity is coming up, coming well. And, yeah, we're, we're coping. We're doing well. Guy man of the match. Not a surprise. He played brilliantly. Three points. An important three points. And, um, yeah. So, that's the end of this episode, guys. So, I am, I've been the real tough fan, as always. Thanks for watching. And take it easy, guys.